Hey folks, TechNivers here. I got one more Kira question for you coming at you today. Today we were asked, hey, by chance of you seeing this, I'm trying to print a larger helmet and I need to cut it a bit, but I can't find any tutorials on it. So today I'm going to show you how to split objects into smaller objects or take chunks out of them, I guess. And we're going to do that right now on Kira questions. So let's jump over to Kira. I do have my setup already all shown here, and this is basically what we're looking at today. You can see I have this object, which is actually just an end stop extender for my Ender 3 V2, and I have taken a small square chunk out of it. Now, the end user here wants to uh, split a, an object into several parts, so I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to go back to pair, and I'm going to show you what I did to make this work. So I have this here, um, which I can move freely. I can grab a hold of it and we're actually going to delete it so um, so this is the object say I want to print two halves of this but not together so I'm going to select the object okay and then I'm going to go down to support blocker and I'm going to add in a support blocker and in fact I'm going to add in two support blockers okay you can see down here that it says eraser and that's exactly what these are going to be basically I need to set them up to do what I want them to do so we're going to get rid of that one for now and we're going to take this support blocker we're going to go down here to the per model settings and what we're going to do is go to modify settings for overlaps okay um, and as you can see it's showing as infill mesh only what you're going to want to do is change that to cutting mesh and we're going to select some settings the settings we want are wall thickness wall line count top bottom thickness infill density and generate support. Now those should be easily accessible and pretty ready to bring over. We'll hit close there. What we're going to do is we're going to zero these out. And now I have my cutting mesh and it is all set up. So when I take this and let's let's scale here. Um, I'm turn off uniform. We're going to scale that way and that way. We can take the object and simply situate it. I am going to set it off a little bit here so you can see exactly what it's doing. And I'm going to adjust the Z scale as well um, because I want you to be able to see that there is a change. So let's, there we go, that should go through the top and the bottom. And it does, when we slice this, this large purple square right here should be missing. So. Um, this is what we're going for. Like I said, it did leave a little bit on the back here on purpose, and this actually shouldn't take too long to slice. There are lots of ways to do this, and what I would recommend is setting up both of your models and ensure that they are touching using the location parameters here. That way you don't have any gaps in between them because you really don't want this. So let's hit preview, and there you have it. You can see it printed just the parts of the model that I hadn't blocked. So. Now if I wanted to print the other half, what I would do is basically hide this model and activate the model on the other half. I can also easily just drag another one in here. Um, and change the scale again. Whoops, I have them both selected. Uh, change the scale. Not that much. The Z scale. 